what's happening, everybody? This your man, your favorite leather crafter, the leather cowboy, Robert D. Muhammad, right here in the Dirty Dirty at Premier Leather Crafters. Now, I'm burning a little midnight oil tonight, but I had some projects that I'm trying to get out and get in the mail. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you already know that I'm into my Christmas season. So this is the very first one right off the press, getting ready to be shipped out Monday. And this is a leather gun holster. If you guys saw the other video where I was getting it prepped and ready, this is a IWB inside the waistband uh, gun holster. Now, this gun holster is actually made for a small, compact, automatic, semi-automatic. But uh, I went ahead and put one in just to give you guys a mock of how it looks. And these are the belt retainer straps. So when you pull it, the holster doesn't come out. I went with these instead of going with the clip because I really wanted to make sure that the uh, the owner, the new owner, when he pulls this, it will come out easy without uh, having the uh, the holster come with it. That would be a bad thing if the holster came with it when you need it. And again, this is the inside the waistband. It's tilted on a about a 35, not quite a 45. But you can adjust this because the Chicago screws allows it to swivel just a little bit. So again, it's supposed to be on a 45 so you can get a quick pull and it is a cross draw. This is what the customer requested, a cross draw. He's right handed and he wanted to be able to uh, pull this out. Now, check with the laws in your state on inside the waistband because unless that... Um, unless the new owner has a full concealed permit then you don't really want to now a lot of times you can the customer just want it and there's nothing you can do about that he wants to inside the waistband so uh, he will have to deal with the legal ramifications on that but uh, I try to talk everybody into getting a, uh, a non-concealed or just carrying it in the open sometimes when somebody knows that you are carrying, they will more than likely just leave you alone. But you guys can see, uh, it is an inside the waistband, full conceal. So if you wear the shirt out, or if you decide to wear a coat, uh, it's not that noticeable uh, for the wearer. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Project complete, getting ready to be shipped out. Inside the waistband, uh, um, gun holster. And this will fit a, uh, now this, mine is a 38. So it actually fits a 38 also as well, a little stubby. Uh, but it can, uh, uh, is actually made for a semi-automatic short, short barrel. And uh, let me get this set up so you guys can see what it looks like outside of the waistband. Uh, because it's very easy to put on. All you have to do is uh, once you... Put it inside of your pants. These loops will hang on the outside. So as you're getting ready to put your belt on, your belt actually threads through these loops here. And you just keep uh, lacing up your belt as normal. But just to give you guys an idea of what this looks like outside, and the barrel is not exposed. It's not exposed. And he just wanted it plain. And like I said, you, it is on a these swivel. So this is what this is what allows it to have that tilt angle when you're putting it in your pants. There it is, family. Full customized black IWB inside the waistband gun holsters. And now here's one thing that I want to point out, and I think I pointed it out in the previous video uh, when I got ready to make these. This is actually, these have been reinforced inside of this leather. I guess you guys can see that. That has been reinforced with a steel band from a metal, uh, a steel company that actually when they roll these steel coils, this metal, this band that's inside between the two pieces of leather actually holds those steel coils from unwinding. So I, I had a friend of mine bring me a little piece of it 
and we just reinforced it in there. So this will actually make it just, I just wanted to make it a little bit stiff to actually let them know that this will not give away on you when over the years. And that's not a problem. It is attached with Chicago screws. So in the event anything happens, all we have to do is just re, uh, remake some new Chicago screws. I mean, remake some new loops and you can just attach that back with the Chicago screws. Now, if you want this to be permanently affixed, I would encourage you to get some Loctite and put that on the thread. And then this way, uh, you don't have to worry about the Chicago screws backing out. But there it is, family. IWB, inside the waistband gun holster for a, uh, a actually a 38 snubby or a small compact auto, semi-automatic. There it is. All right. Thank you guys for chilling with me again. Uh, you guys stay tuned. I got more videos coming out with more projects to get done, uh, especially we're doing a whole new series on the fun, small projects that can create you a lot of bank. Uh, you guys stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys on the other side. I got to get back to work. Peace.